Greetings! Today we're once again looking at Project Ugly Duckling, but today we're going to be looking at shocks. I have these shocks right here. Um, these are the shocks I'm going to go with on this truck. These are HPS shocks. They came off the Nitro MT, the first generation one. These come off the front of those. They're 85 millimeter, so that's the size I want for this truck. Normally these SCX-10s have 90s, well, I just don't need the extra travel on this one. So we're going to go with these 85s. These shocks came off some Nitro MTs that's seen a lot of use, so the oil in them needs to be changed. That's what we're going to go over today, is how to change the shock oil inside your shocks. We'll go through draining them, uh, putting fresh oil in, bleeding them, all the fun stuff. Normally in my crawler shocks, I run a 40 weight oil. Uh, sometimes I run 30 in the front, but on this one I'm going to run 35 all the way around. I'm going to start here because just given the, the stiffness of these springs, I think this will be a good shock oil for them. I'm using Associated Silicone Shock Oil here. Okay, now we're ready to change the oil on this shock right here. What we're going to do is we'll start by unscrewing the cap. And then we'll set it aside. I have an old water bottle here that I'm going to dump the fluid into. This will take a while if you're running thick fluid in it. With this thin fluid that came in these shocks, it takes no time at all to get the fluid out. You may want to work the piston back and forth a couple of times just to make sure you got it all out of there. Okay. Now then, take our shock here and take a, our paper towel and wipe off, get the old oil off the outside of it. Next we'll take our associated shock oil and we will put it into the shock real slowly. We want to fill the shock up about three quarters of the way. Don't know if the camera can pick that up or not, but she's about three quarters full. Now what we want to do is we want to work the piston up and down slowly, but do not make it come out of the fluid. We're doing this just to work out any air that's trapped underneath the piston. With thin oil, this works pretty quick. Thin oil or thicker oil, it can take a little more time. Okay, now we're going to finish filling it up slowly to where it's right at the top. You want to come up to about the top of the, of the shock here on the edges, but the inside will be sunk in, kind of concave. You want that? And now we put the cap on. Take the cap and just screw it on a couple threads, just enough to hold. This next part's going to be a little bit messy. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this shaft and push it in about halfway, a little bit more. I always go to about half about fingers width at the bottom. Hold the piston there. And then the shaft, and tighten down the lid the rest of the way. You'll have some fluid come out, and that's to be expected. That's where, from the air being pushed out and pulling out some of the fluid, while you tighten down the cap. Okay, push it in. Should go all the way in and slightly spring back. There we go, our shock is fully ready to go back in. I like to take a paper towel with alcohol and wipe down the outside to get the oil off of it. That way it keeps dirt from collecting to the shock. Just make sure your cap is tight. And if it has the screw on bottom cartridges, make sure they're tight as well. Take a little spray of alcohol. Rub down with a fresh clean paper towel. Reinstall all the hardware on the shock. Have the washer here, spring retainer, spring itself, and the cap. Spring cap. There we go. These shocks also had some spacers on them, but I am not going to be using them in this application. Shock oil is a great way to tune your shocks to work for your type of truck, your type of terrain, and your driving style. So don't be afraid to experiment with different shock oils. Shock oil is cheap, so nice, quick, cheap tuning aid.
I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below or hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, email, any of those. Uh, thank you for watching, and until next time, happy RCing!